The markup matrix allows you to progressively scale your parts markups according to what you paid for each part rather than a single markup percentage applied to all parts and materials. In other words, parts that cost less than a dollar are marked up at a much higher rate than parts that cost perhaps $200. We recommend using several levels to maintain and improve profitability while remaining competitive where it counts. Adjustments may be applied in either the markup or profit margin column and the other column will then update itself according to your input. If you make any updates to an existing matrix setting, there is an option to apply this to current inventory items that fall into that dollar range. This will display a dialog box stating how many part records will be updated to use this new markup percentage. When you answer yes, the selling prices on items fitting in that cost range will be changed. If you choose not to apply the matrix to your existing inventory, then the change to the markup pricing structure will only apply to newly entered items on orders and added to inventory in the future. The matrix setting affects all one-time entry parts and all inventory items that do not have user entered sale price checked. That option is used to lock the sell price on an item regardless of changes made to matrix settings. There is also the global decision to use last cost or average cost method. This will influence where parts land on the matrix and also part profit figures on reports will read differently depending on which method is selected here. Average cost data is maintained as long as the part quantity on hand remains above zero. If it falls to zero or negative quantity, the average data will resume once the part quantity is again above zero. Check out your Get Set SE workbook for some additional thoughts about markup and a discussion of markup versus gross profit.